Hi, in this video I'm going to go over OneTastic for OneNote. OneTastic is a multi-purpose add-in for OneNote that gives you a lot of features that you can use within OneNote. What I'm going to do is go through some of my favorites, but it has a great number of macros that you can work with to enhance your OneNote. And the best part is, it's free. Right now I'm on the Macros tab in OneNote, so I've got a list of the ones that I've downloaded. As you can see, there's lots of calendar options available for you, whether you like to work with daily planners, um, monthly, yearly. You can also set up a calendar with a to-do list within it, and I'll show you how to do that. You can clean up your hyperlinks, clean up your authors. You can do a search and replace, um, set up styles, work with images. Sort your pages, add table of contents, which is really great, and I'll show you how that works. And also, where am I? The navigation feature that lets you know exactly where you are within your OneNote notebook. And with it, you can click to go back. So the first thing I want to do is show you where to go so you can download it if you're interested in using them. The website is getonetastic.com, and I'll put a link to it below so that you can get to it quickly. So once you input that, what you want to do is scroll down until you see the button Go to Macro Land. When you click on this, it's going to take you to all the macros that are available. And as you can see, it's got 493 macros right now. And so what you would do is you would find the macro that you want to add. Here's the Where Am I one that I was talking about, so we'll click on it. It'll give you information about it so you can understand what it does. Click the download. When you click download, you'll have to agree to the license terms and say download. It's going to download it. It highlights it within the list and we'll come over and click install. And now it's installed. It. That's how easy it is to install the macros. So now I'm going to go back to OneNote and show you how some of them work. So I'm going to close out of this. I want to start by going over the calendars with you. These are the various calendars that I've downloaded from OneTastic. I can insert a yearly calendar. I can tell it the year, the day of the week to start, how many columns I want, and the formatting I want, how large I want the format to be so that I can add text to it. Once I've got it set up, I'll click OK. And now I've got my calendar. I've got the whole year listed here. And if I wanted to, I could click within a day and add text. And I can also spread them out. So I can manipulate it any way I want quick and easy to set up calendars. Much better than having to go in and set up a table, put in the days, um, the day of the week it is, and so forth. Another one I want to show you is the weekly planner. Tell it what day my week starts on, create checkboxes for each day, the layout, and then I can also tell it how many weeks I want to do. So if I want to do it for three weeks, say OK. Now, because it's going to set up multiple pages, it does a page for each week, it gives you a warning that it's something that you can't undo. You can, however, go in and delete the pages that if you don't want them. So we'll say yes. And as you can see here on the side, I've got my weekly planner for each of the weeks I set up, and I could come to any of the days and type in my to-do information. Once I've done it, click the box and check it that it's done. That's how quick and easy it is to do the weekly planner and have it set up with your to-do list. Another one I want to show you is the calendar option. I can insert a monthly calendar. And again, with the monthly calendar, I can come in and type information, move my columns around if I wanted to, give it a title. We can come out and we can do our monthly calendar with task list if you prefer to have it set up as a task list. And now you can see it's got lines set up so that I can type my information in here. I can set it up as a to-do. Also remember if you want to do it as an Outlook task, if you click on the down arrow, you can do a custom one, and it opens it directly in Outlook so you can set it up here and also save it to your calendar. This feature, using the calendar for your task list, is great if you're more of a visual person instead of having just your to-do list or your tasks listed on a list. So I can see what days I need to start things, or I can even set it up so that they're listed on the due date. So when I'm looking at my calendar, I can see that on Friday the 18th, my budget is due. 
So I can create my custom item, set everything up, and I can see the budget's due on this date. So I could start working on it whenever I want, but I can see visually what my due dates are. So it's a great feature to use. While we're here on the Home tab, I want to show you that OneTastic is also listed on the Home tab, and it shows you the macros. You can click on it. It'll take you directly to the Macro tab to pull up the information. You can also pin to the desktop from here. I can pin this page, so if I want to always see this page while I'm working on it, I can pin it to the desktop. And as you can see, I've got a shortcut to this page on my desktop. It takes me right back in. We've got the Launch OneNote Calendar. When you click on this, what this does, it's different than an actual calendar, is it's going to launch in a separate window a calendar of all of the changes or everything you've done within OneNote based upon dates. So I can see yesterday I worked in OneNote and I added two calendars. So if I wanted to go to a date where I did some work so it's easy to move around if I know what date I worked on stuff, I can click on the hyperlink and it'll take me to that day. It's great if you're collaborating. You can go through and look at collaborations with other people, see what dates they were working on things as well. I can change it to the day view, or I can also change it to a month view. And I can scroll through to see the different changes that I've been making as I've gone along. Go back to the Macro tab, and I want to show you a few other things in here. Search and Replace is really great, so if you need to make changes within a certain page, a notebook, or a section, you can do that from here. So if I needed to find everywhere that um, a certain word was and replace it with another word, so if the name of a company changed that you're working with, you could do a search and replace for the current name and replace it with a new one. The navigation, where am I? What this is going to do is it's going to run a macro and it puts in exactly where you are within your notebooks. So I'm in the Our Project Notebook, the Project Calendars section, and then I'm on the January 2018 page. So if I switch over to one of my other notebooks and put in the where am I, it adds all of the information. So I don't lose track of where I am. Another great feature it has is the printout feature. You know how sometimes when you export things that you had printed into your OneNote or you print it out to a PDF, how it kind of shifts everything and so the margins are off? What this does is kind of centers it up, and I'll show you what I mean. Once you run it, it's going to kind of shift things a little bit on the page. Here's one I exported to um, PDF before I ran the printout. If we scroll down, you can see it's kind of shifted everything over to the right. The second one, as you can see, it's kind of centered it more, so it helps shift things on the page so it doesn't look so awkward. There's a sorting option which allows you to sort either in ascending or descending order in all pages in current section or selected pages. So if I wanted to sort all these pages, I would leave it at all pages in current section and say OK. And now you can see it put the pages in alphabetical order. So it kind of cleans it up for me so I don't have to drag them around if I wanted them in alphabetical order. Another one of its great features is the table of contents. What it will do is it will create a table of contents, current section, current page, current subpages, however you want it set up. So I'm going to do it for the current section. If there was a table of contents already in here, I could tell it to update it, but I'm going to do a new one. And so just as a note, as you add pages, it will not automatically update the table of contents. You'll have to run the macro to do that. So I'll say OK. There's my table of contents. Now when I click on any of the hyperlinks, it will take me to that page. I can do a table of contents for a list of my notebooks, and so I can see all the notebooks that I have set up. Now also, another caveat is it's for all notebooks that you have open. So I could click on any of these to get to my notebooks. Just another one of the great features that it has. Let's go back to our project, and I've got one more I want to show you. For this one, I'm going to go back to the Home tab, and it's the custom style. So I can create custom styles. 
So for instance, if I wanted the um, heading for all of my calendars to be the same, instead of always coming in and telling it I want them to be red, I want it to be underlined, italic, and bolded, I can create a style for this. I've got it highlighted. Come over to Custom Style, Save Selection as Custom Style, and call it my calendar heading. Say OK. Now when I come to another one, highlight it, come to my styles, and do my calendar heading on it. Quick and easy way to set up a style. So as you can see, the OneTastic has a lot of great macros that are available, and I've just hit on a few of them. So I would suggest going to their website and taking a look at the ones that are available. Remember, it's getonetastic.com, and from there you're going to scroll down to go to Macroland, where you can see all the macros that are available.